Becoming America Chavez again, she continued the story that she was born on the utopian parallel, a paradisal dimension outside of time and space of the multiverse, where America attained an undetermined measure of her superpowers from the demiurge's ambient magical presence, enabling willful traversal of the multiverse and incredible superhuman potential. With distorted memories, America claimed that when she was approximately six years old, the utopian parallel was threatened with destruction by black holes pulling it into the common multiverse, so her mothers heroically sacrificed themselves to stop the danger, resulting in their particles dispersing across the multiverse. She traveled across different dimensions, eventually adopting the moniker Ms. America, and began covertly acting as a superhero. Wanting to prove herself as a hero and knowing utopia didn't require salvation, America ran away from her home and her responsibilities. Ms. America eventually joined the Teen Brigade and despite her young age, she even served as co-leader with Ultimate Nullifier. With the Teen Brigade, she freed the in-betweener from a government confinement center, Groom Lake adjacent in Nevada. With information from the in-betweener, the Teen Brigade set out to prevent the young masters of evil from disrupting the balance between chaos and order. To stop the young masters from recruiting Kid Loki, Ms. America broke into the Met, but Loki used the screaming idol to send her to the sixth dimension. There she fought Tibera, and was almost destroyed and drained away. Later she was rescued by the last defenders, She-Hulk and Hellstrom, under the direction of the in-betweener. She rejoined her teammates in Latveria where they fought the Brakane Hood, Young Masters and Doctor Doom. The battle was ended when Ultimate Nullifier shot the in-betweener. While the smoke cleared, the team brigade covertly departed. Ultimate Nullifier and America briefly engaged in a romantic fling, but it ended when America abruptly left the team brigade.